Hey all, my name is Kurt. Welcome back to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. Got a great show planned for you today. I'm super excited about it. I've been working on it for, for a little while now. I really wanted to come up uh, with some with some good scotch bottles for you. And, and I thought at first, let's just gear it towards beginners. And then I thought a large part of our subscribership are bourbon drinkers. So what I did is I, I rethought the whole the whole show and I came up with best beginner scotch for bourbon drinkers. So the scotch, I've got five bottles here for you. So the scotch that I wanna show you today, I feel are excellent starters for you bourbon drinkers out there. So before we get started, if I could please, if I could just mention, our next live show is gonna be on the last Friday. Our live shows are always on the last Friday of every month. So this last Friday of the month will land on the 29th. What time do we do it, Trenton? 8? 8, 8 p.m. Central. 8 p.m. Central time. Please join us. What we're going to do, my brother will be back for that one, too. We're going to have a good time. I am going to bring out some of our absolute favorites that we have found so far this year. Bourbons and maybe a couple of ryes. Our favorites so far this year. We're going to show them to you, and then we're going to blind them out and see which one is really our favorite. So if you have time, we'd love to, we'd love to see you at that live show. 29th, July 29th, Friday, 8 p.m. Central Time. All right, let's get started on the show. Very first bottle that I want to show you, a great scotch to start with if you're a bourbon drinker. It's Deanston 12-year. Deanston 12-year costs about $55 and comes in at 92.6 proof. Deanston Distillery started life in 1785 as a cotton mill and remained such for 180 years until it was transformed into a distillery in 1966. The 12 year is aged in X bourbon barrels without chill filtration and it has natural color. All right, as mentioned, this is aged specifically and only in X bourbon barrels, which give it a fabulous bourbon flair to it. it. It it will give you a little bit of a lemon or like a, just a hint of a lemon zest in there, but it'll follow through with a beautiful, beautiful honey note and level out on the finish with with a really nice vanilla. Just a really, really beautiful scotch, especially for a bourbon drinker that really hasn't tried scotch yet. And for the price tag, fifty five bucks, single malt, you really can't go wrong. All right, that one, all right, buddy. Yep. All right. Next in line, I've got Glenfiddich 14 year bourbon barrel reserve. This Speyside whiskey is aged for a full 14 years in ex bourbon casks. It's then transferred to be finished in new heavily charred American oak barrels from Louisville's prominent Kelvin Cooperage with the intention of imparting more of those deep bourbon qualities into the single malt. Hey, I, I'm, I'm just going to say this. I, 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 I've got some great bottles to show you, but I, I truly believe this specific bottle has the most true characteristics of bourbon. And, and, and for, for the price tag, 60 bucks. I mean, seriously, it's a 14-year single malt. It's going to hit you with that toffee and caramel, the molasses, the stuff that you would normally find in a really nice bourbon. But then it's going to hit you also with a little bit of that barrel char too. I, it does have some malty qualities to it. There's no questioning that. But it it really has some fantastic traditional bourbon flavors in this particular bottle. I, I think you really like this one. All right, moving on down the line, I've got a I've got a blend here. Compass box, spice tree. The spice tree will set you back about sixty five dollars and comes in at ninety two proof. The spice tree is matured using a custom-made cask with French oak for the heads and American oak for the body, resulting in a rich and intense malt. As all Compass Box releases, the spice tree is non-chill filtered and natural color. Hey, this bottle, it, it's a blend and I get that, and, and, but boy, I tell you what, it really has it all. It really, really does. It has just a touch of orange, just a little bit, but boy, it's filled with baking spices, some ginger in there, a little bit of ginger for that spice note, and some cinnamon in there too. Really, really a wonderful bottle, a great starter, a great scotch bottle. 
albeit not a single malt, it is a blend, but a great scotch bottle. And I, I really didn't know this until I did my research, but Compass Box, all their releases are non-chill filtered, natural color, which is also a really nice bonus. All right, moving on down to number four. I've got the Glen Scotia Victoriana. The Victoriana is a no-age statement whiskey from one of the last remaining distilleries in Campbelltown. The casks were selected from its reserve cellar for their individual characteristics, then married together in a barrel that's been given a heavy char. It is bottled without chill filtration. Now, hey, this bottle, this bottle here bumps up the proof a little bit, but what, what I love the most about this, Trenton, you would love this bottle. Because you know why? This is like this is like a savory sip. It really is. It's it's like a it's real savory scotch. It has some oatmeal qualities in there, some milk chocolate, it's a little nutty. It's a little nutty too, and it has some fantastic barrel char. We're pouring this when we're done with this video for you. Just a real beautiful sipping experience. Extremely savory in my opinion. I really, really like this one. Real, real good. Alright, last but not least, let's get to it. One of my absolute favorites, Glen Farkless 105. This Glen Farkless release is a Speyside whiskey, costing about $80, and it is 120 proof. In 1968, Glen Farkless was the first to release a cask strength single malt whiskey. The 105 is a non age statement whiskey and uses sherry casks for the aging process. Glen Farkless actually chooses barrels and batches them together so that their combined proof is exactly 120 proof. For those true bourbon drinkers out there, and you know there's plenty of them watching this video, video trend, what do we hear all the time? High proof, high proof, show me the proof. Am I right? So I had to, I had to put this cash strength into this show. I, I understand and realize all Glenn Farkless, including this 105, is strictly aged in X sherry casks. Okay, so we know that. However, that proof is killer in this whiskey. It drinks below proof trend it does. You liked this bottle a little bit, didn't you? I you did. told me? That's it. Oh he liked that one just a little bit. And, and it and it will give you some it'll give you some dried fruits and a little jammy notes from the from the uh, sherry barrel. But it really follows suit after that. Uh, with a beautiful vanilla note and what I love the most about this. All right, the, the most, what I love the most on the finish is a beautiful butterscotch note. It's just absolutely fabulous. Now, I know it's $80 for a no age statement whiskey. I did a little bit of research on it. They say it's average some or average around eight or nine years for the aging on this particular bottle. That's what I, that's what I found. I know that's a little low for the price tag, but I'm telling you with that proof, and what you get on the palate, it is a fabulous, fabulous sip. And I think a lot of you bourbon drinkers would really like this here. Really, really like it. That's all I have for you today. Boy, I tell you what, if you have any more ideas for me, for great scotch bottles, for bourbon drinkers, I'd like to know it in the comments. Let me know, because I learned so much from each and every one of you. So I had a great time putting this together. I gotta admit, probably wasn't one of Trenton's favorite videos, but that's okay. Sometimes I gotta do videos I like, right? As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. Hey, come on, join us again next time, right down here with me in a good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.